Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Backpack Belt Run, and as you see I've tanked my ranking because I'm trying meme builds, and today I'm gonna try to do the <clears throat> bow and arrow, the new bow build, there is a new Walrusk bow thing, which is very very weak, but I'm gonna try to make a build out of it. Uh, let's go with healing herb, we'll find a banana, banana early is always a win, I'm gonna buy this, and we have spikes and banana, I definitely want this, definitely want this, and uh, let's go. Let's go, this is a decent start. And it's against the poison build. This is a guaranteed loss. I'm not even going to watch this. You always lose the poison fight if you're a ranger. I think they should remake this. I think they should make it so that the first three fights are always against the same class as you. Because it's straight up not fair if the opponent has a backpack that gives them five poison every time. Like they have like a 50 or 40% chance to poison you and you have a 5% chance to crit them. So anyway, let's go on. Let's go on. That's a balanced topic. That's a completely different discussion. Let's roll them. Fun. Wow, that's good. This is decent and this is nice. Let's go here and here and let's hope i'm gonna fight against the ranger because that's the only way we're gonna somehow survive this it's a ranger we have spikes they don't they do more damage to us than we do to them they critted us first attack by the way five percent chance to crit and they hit it hopefully the wooden buckler is gonna save us hopefully i'm gonna crit them once we have region they have region we have banana they don't don't crit us again or we're gonna win just don't crit us again fatigue's kicking in come on buckler save us nice we won through a draw Almost lost. I told you, Ranger is a fair fight, otherwise it's not. Got a good old spike shield, and I'm gonna go regen and another spike. And uh, I'm gonna roll for one, because right now it's early shop, and I definitely want room and spikes. Morosk Tusk is the most important item right now. Um, we have four regen, theoretically, yes, it's a poison build. Once again, we're gonna lose. They even have a corrupted blue. This is a guaranteed loss. I don't do enough damage to survive the corrupted crystal fatigue um, kill that's gonna happen. Alongside the five poison I already have. What's the chance on this poison, man? 25% chance to poison us, and we have a 5% chance to crit. We're winning the life fight, but the moment fatigue kicks in, yeah, we just got destroyed. Fair enough. Hopefully I would... Nice. Exactly what I was about to say. I, I, I swear I was about to say, hopefully I'm going to also get a corrupt crystal, but I, I wasn't fast enough. Now we're going to obviously win the similar fights. Yep, uh, they are a healing build mostly, also a high damage shovel build. If the spike shield protects us... And the spikes, now we have four spikes, one more spike, yeah, now we have four spikes, so it's almost guaranteed 100% reflection, we have four regen, they don't, this should be a win, especially when fatigue kicks in, and we're gonna be winning most of these fatigue fights as long as I have the card for crystal and they don't, very nice, got a win because of fatigue, and I found the weapon of choice, the thorn whip, insane, we sell this, this guaranteed joins as is, and now I have uh, on hit, gain one spike, and deals plus one damage per spike, and we're gonna obviously buy not the room we're not gonna buy room we're gonna definitely buy the spike so we have more damage and let's go i'm definitely gonna buy these now i want to find the vampirism blade and a bow and the build is ready they have a bow doesn't matter though and i'm gonna easily win these fights early game as we will be gaining spikes and just doing insane damage this right now does 10 to 15 damage which is obviously insane smack him boom and we're gonna be winning the fatigue fight after all so uh one more fatigue and we win come on fatigue uh oh we're losing Oh, we almost lost, but fatigue gives the win. Very nice. The bow and arrow, they had 73 damage, man. 95. Good fight, good fight. And I, wow. 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 You know why this is actually happening? Because in the beginning, I said that I'm going to lose ranking and I'm doing meme builds. That's why this is happening. Obviously, we're going to go with the anti-crit. And now I got the weapon of choice, which is the which which is the weapon that's about to appear out of that. Insane. Insane. It's insane that I got this. Now I just need a bunch of region. Now we need to find a bunch of healing herbs. So um, that, that's going to be completely random. Uh, theoretically, we should win here. We will have some energy issues early game. I mean, in this fight in general, not early game. But we have a banana to save us. And also we're going to win the fatigue fight, as I said. So this should be a very easy win. So you should be gone somewhere around here. Nice. Yep, they're gone. And we win. Nice. And now these are going to combine. We found region, insane. And this here says the following. On hit, convert one region into vampirism and spikes and deals one more damage per spike and vampirism we have. Now, we're not going to stick to this. This is not the build yet. We're not even close to done. We're going to just continue. We definitely get region because that's now the, web, the item of choice. We're going to go room. We're going to go do not get crit. We're going to lock this down. And uh, let's go. Would I like this on something? No. I think we still want... No, 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 no. You go here. I definitely want this to be firing a bit more often. Okay, uh, we should win this. They don't. They have anti-vampirism, but they don't have anti-spikes. And that means all the damage they do will get 100% reflected back. So right now, they do 10 to us. They take the... It's gone. 
They didn't even do that much damage. Look at this. Yeah, 63 specs damage. How much damage did they do? Did they even do 63? 3d8 uh, plus 12. That's 40 damage right here. 40 damage plus this. 58 damage. 58 plus 7. Uh, 60... 65. Wow, they did 65 damage and we reflected 63 of that. So... <laughs> You see, and we broke them. So, the choice are two. Either I go for this, which gives us cleansing and is good, and gives us 10 regen. 10 regen is going to make the blood throne better. Or I go for this, which is every time I gain spikes, I inflict poison, and I myself do not get to inflict poison. Or I go with this. I mean, all of these fit the build. Because I'm I want to be critting, I want to not get poisoned, and I will be gaining spikes, so I will poison the opponents. And uh, I do want 10 regen, uh, because 10 regen is going to make the Bloodthorn actually give us 10 Vampirism and 10, sp and 10 spikes. I think the play is going for 10 regen, 10 Vampirism and 10 spikes. So we're going to go for this, especially because the game is even giving us cheap. And I found the bow and arrow, insane. And I also found the acorn color. So we definitely buy the bow and arrow as this is the weapon of choice. <laughs> it's, it's completely insane to me that this just happened. Uh, I could also go for the stone skin potion to maybe get a potion build going. Nah, let's go here. It's that, I mean, we're gonna buy all of these. And now I'm gonna do a mini reorganize time. Okay, done. So, the new bow and arrow. This thing, complete trash. What does it do? Uh, not complete trash, this is busted actually. So this says, it does 69 damage, and when the weapon that is started attacks, it gets plus one damage up to seven. So this can get up to seven permanent damage up. That's what this does. I'm gonna explain what the next arrow does in a moment. So when this here fires, this gets damage boost. And this here fires once every 1.6 seconds. I definitely want to get a bunch of attacks from the Bloodthorn, by the way. It's very important. I didn't min-max the, um, the Eurasil Leaf. It's okay, we, yeah, we have like 10 regen. And now we're gonna just transform this into Vampirism. They have anti-Vampirism, um, but it doesn't matter because now we have 10 spikes. And if they attack us for 10, they take 10. 12, come on, reflect yourself to death, bye-bye. You're gone. And this is doing insane damage. 22 to 48, and this is 13 to 16. How much damage? Yeah, look at this. 146 damage to the blood point. Let's go. And now we're gonna get the combo. Boom. I'm not gonna get potions. Let's go here. And this is the Tusk Piercer. What does this thing do? In my opinion, this is not a good weapon, but as I said, we're doing memes today. So, Tusk Piercer. When the weapon of choice attacks this thing, then it takes a spike away. We lose the spike. First of all, it gives us a spike at the start of the fight, but who cares? It takes a spike away, and it, it charges up for 8 damage. So it's as if it's front-loading the spikes. Now, if the opponent attacks us 8 times, then it would have been better if I kept the spikes. But if the opponent does not attack at 8 times, then this thing just does 8 damage to the opponent. Just boom, you know? Like, imagine the following. What is better? To have 10 spikes and the opponent attack us for 80 damage, uh, 10 times uh, 10 times 8, so we reflect 80 back, or this thing eats 8 spikes, uh, 10 spikes, and then shoots 80 damage to the opponent, right? That's the idea, that this eats the spikes and does the damage instantly. Which instantly means um, you might lose a bit of value late game. So, and this thing, when it attacks, it gives us a spike, right? So the idea is this gives us a spike or attack and also eats it at the same time. And then this charges up for 8 damage. So now I want this to have crazy, crazy attack speed. So I can do like, um, you know, a madness attack speed build. Also, I think I want to buy the mana orb and put it here. So that we start gaining mana. And once again, I want to start also wasting mana, right? We want to gain mana and waste mana. This goes away. This goes here. Um... Can I put more things in? Yeah, definitely one more goes up there. And then I can flip this. And this goes here. This goes here. Really nice. Right now I'm missing two spots. That's it. I'm missing two spots. I don't have more luck. I actually do have more luck. This is luck. So shouldn't this be like this? No, that's actually worse. Uh, I will need to do... You know what? This can go here. Wait, what? No, I don't think I can do this better right now. Right this very specific moment, I can't do it better. In general, I will be able to do it better. Because I'm going to put it here and then just super duper surround it. But as of this specific instance, we're going to just go like this. Do I want mana gain? I mean, I will most likely go with a million books, right? Because this is every five mana used, heal five and cleanse two debuffs. So if I have as many books as possible, then this mana orb would be a good idea. Therefore, this mana orb is a good idea. I'm gonna buy it, and it's literally gonna be put here when the time comes. So, uh, I mean, I can even do it right now. And the reason why doing it right now is a good idea because is because I want the opponents to uh, steal mana away if they have Tim, or if they have remove a random buff, they are gonna remove mana. Like, we're gonna just invest into that idea. Definitely go for luck. Definitely go for uh, gain spikes and heal three. Uh, let's go. 
gaining spikes is important. Hopefully, we're gonna lose from Rip Cage Blade, by the way, Rip Saw Blade. We should beat this at least. Because this is a Falcon Blade build, and we are spikes, a semi spikes, and also a bunch of regen build. Slowly build this up. Uh yeah, we have we have we destroyed them. We destroyed them. 50 damage crit there. How much crit chance do I have? 10. I have 10% crit chance and I hit it. That was lucky. Very lucky. On our healing herb, very important. This um uh, okay, I guess this goes here. You go here. I don't care about mana right now. This gets bought. You get bought. You go here. Actually, if anything, you go here. And uh, I I'm literally missing one spot. That's it. Ah, nah. Better like this. Because this uh, gets more mana this way. Let's roll him. Found this. Light is irrelevant. Let's go. What do I want to find? I want to find gloves and trochilla. Gloves and trochilla would be the best. I start with two spikes. I start getting spikes. And do not fight the ripsaw blade. That's it. You see the spikes not moving? It just stays at six. Gone. Gone. You are gone, man. We are very, very bursty. We are very bursty. It's literally front-loading the spikes, man. It's literally front-loading. So look at this. The Bloodthorn did 66. Tusk Piercer did 38. Uh, I didn't. I don't think it fired fast enough. And I found a good old Gloves of Haste. Very nice. You go here. Uh, definitely lock this down. And I would also like to get more luck. As luck is literally one-to-one -one crits. One more room for my attack speed. Found. <laughs> okay, we, we want this to combine with the Warlord's Tusk. So we can definitely do that. This is not needed right now. Therefore, these are gonna go somewhere else. <clears throat> uh, let's actually have this. Actually, forget the crystal for a moment. You join. Do I need the crystal in general? You know what? If we lose from fatigue, then so be it. We throw this out. Give attack. Give give me attack speed. And I want the attack speed definitely to go on the blood point. So we're gonna do like a mini reorganize time. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as of this time, right now, we're not super min-maxed, but it's okay. We got some attack speed on the Bloodthorn and on the Banana. We want the Bloodthorn to attack as fast as possible. That's the most important thing. We just want this thing to fire, 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 fire. So it charges up the Tusk Piercer and then just, just fires once and kills the whole opponent crew. That's the idea. And we want to find Vampirism Gloves, of course, to get even more attack speed. Jinx or kill us. And that would be it, mostly. <clears throat> so let's go. This thing has an attack of 1.40 seconds. Powers up, powers up, powers up. Power, power, power. Party weight. You see this? 22 to 25 damage. Boom! And they just drank a million potions. We still power up. We are still powering up. I'm out of energy, which means we need more bananas for sure. 54 damage there. Fatigue's kicking in. 9 spikes, 14 vampirism. 56 in our big hit. Very nice. This was doing 27, 31. This was doing also a lot. What did the most damage? The, the idea is, do the bows actually do what they're supposed to? That's the main idea here. 81 and 168. Yeah, it, it's trying its best. The boy's trying its best. Nice. We want something to eat our mana away. Buy this. We're gonna buy the book next turn. Uh, <clears throat> I think we're good. Maybe roll once. Okay, we found room. A lot of it. Buy room, buy room, and go. Uh, I will need a banana. Guaranteed. Because we have energy issues. So, banana is definitely needed. Uh, we are getting our spikes. <clears throat> they are a Falcon Blade build, so we are pretty much countering them. They have a Torquilla. They also have a lot of luck. As long as I can heal. None of us have potions, so it's a race of who does more. Uh, it's a race. We won the race. Very nice. We won the race, and we actually even won the run. Nice, nice, nice. 224 damage there. Spikes. 60-something. Everything's going decent. Yeah, Tusk Piercer does not do that much. I'm telling you, this is a meme build. Wow, this was actually going well for a meme build. And I found attack speed. Uh, I would like to buy... I would say the Book of Light first. You go here. I definitely can min-max this now, man. It can't be that this is not min-maxable. Yeah, I think I think I can do this. Now, yeah, the only spots... If I bring it here, it literally has only one spot that's not covered. Uh, you will go somewhere else. I think... Yeah, you go to our side, please. And uh, you can go here. I'm your reorganized time. Okay, so at this point, I am done, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is maxed out other than literally one spot. And this is gonna instantly fire. I don't even want the Book of Light to instantly fire the damage immunity, so that might not even be the best choice. Although, maybe it is a good choice, because the opponent might be... 
Um, yeah, we instantly fired this. Because the opponent might be a lightsaber belt, so firing this thing turn one might save us from a lot of damage. Uh, the first second is what I mean. I have 17 poison. We don't really have poison removal, but <laughs> they're not gonna survive this. We have 11 spikes, I'm still scaling damage. You're gone. Did the bow do anything? On a 3d4? It did. The bow actually did something. Nice. Nice, we got more attack speed. We found starting energy and we have a Torquilla. So, uh, you join. Torquilla also joins. I would say Torquilla hits... Here. I mean, I wanted Torquilla to be hitting the banana, so I guess it should be somewhere like here. Or here. And this looks like the best spot for it, but this is literally not possible. I guess I need to reorganize again. Roll him. Nice. And, uh... Roll him. Yeah. Reorganize time to fit the Torquilla. Okay, back. So, as I previously mentioned, I think the play is to not min-max this. Because this getting min-maxed gives me more regen, yes, but I already have a huge amount, it doesn't run out. Uh, but I don't want to start with the mana thing instantly. I want to attack once or twice and then gain the mana. So, I, I want to become damage immune like almost half a second after. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. And this here, by the way, is start of battle, gain 4... Uh, gain 4 shielding and resist 1 debuff. Might as well put it here to resist 1 debuff. Which might be blind, which would be the worst one we could get. Oh, they are trying the same thing. Uh, okay, they have like a potion explosion going on, which already fired. And I blocked... I, I'm, I'm damage immune right now. Definitely have energy issues. <clears throat> I need a banana, man. I need two or three bananas. I think that's the play. We are losing, but we have more vampirism than them. Uh, we have also have more poison than them, so <laughs> that's really bad. And we actually lost. They had 16 regen, man. Fair enough, fair enough. Did the tusk do anything? 188. Yeah, it does its job. It does its job. Okay, we found mana and luck. Mana and luck is a good idea, I think. Because we're always gonna have full mana. So this is pretty much luck. Yeah, I get some attack speed. Actually, this up here would be... No. No. Let's give attack speed to Torquilla. Let's put that there. Very nice. Roll him. Yeah, we can just fit this. So I'm almost maxed out on inventory space. Starting with luck is good. Banana is here, which is godlike. Banana goes here, the Torquilla fires it faster. I'm borderline on purpose, avoiding this to start powered up. Yeah, not borderline, straight up. This I, I don't want this to start right away. I want it to give us mana a bit later. I do want the starting luck, though. Uh, you know what? Forget the resisting a debuff. Give me the starting luck. And I think we're good. So Torquilla is hitting both bananas, which is the most important aspect here. It's also hitting the blueberry that's going to give us luck. Also really important. Uh, I'm thinking if I should bring this over to the other side, over here. Yeah, right now it's buffing both bananas, though. That's what I'm thinking. Otherwise, I could put it here so that the Torquilla hits it and that starts also firing faster and faster. Yeah, I think that's better. I think it's better for this to fire faster than specifically the two bananas getting a 10% damage boost. Uh, yeah, 10% each. I mean, I could just find the carrot and put it here, and then that would be the same. Let's go. Mana is irrelevant, I just need more books of light. Okay, they have a super duper carrot build. And a super duper mana build. And yeah, they have two books of light. Uh, one more and we win. They have... Yep, that's the last book, and let's go. Now we just hope for this big smack and win. Go, fire, fire, fire. Bone on ice. Easy win, easy win. It works, it just works. We, we still have insane amount of spikes, but we're eating them away for the Tusk Piercer to do damage. I mean, Bloodthorn is doing the most damage, but Tusk Piercer also really, really helps. Nice. Uh, starting with more energy, I think, is a good idea. I mean, it doesn't fit anywhere. No, I'm kidding. It does fit here. There you go. And even more starting shielding. Roll them. Another starting shielding and more crits. We definitely go for the more crits. Nice. Yeah, that's actually good. I don't need more mana once again. Do I have another... I could go for another Tusk Piercer. I don't think I need to, though. It's gonna just eat away all my spikes. Roll them. Didn't find anything. Let's go. Survive three rounds. While also having three tries left. Okay, this is a spikes build like us. But... Yeah, no, that's it, actually. And I just blocked the early game damage by uh, getting the shielding. And they can no longer blind us. We have poison. We have a lot more poison than they have. Um, yeah, this is almost a draw. They have a Fortuna's Bow, 
We are winning though, we won. Easy enough, we won. Why do we win? Because, first of all, we have a ranged bow that does 50 damage, so I'm not taking 20 there. Let's see who did what. My blood throne did 288, your uh, lightsaber did nothing. My tusk piercer did 188, your Fortuna's bow did also nothing. Did they have energy issues? Oh, they had 50 weapons, man. What are you doing? They did 160 spikes damage. Mine did 33. Yeah, because they were not attacking. And uh, they did 131 poison on us. Maybe I should have also gone with the poison and not for the Igrassi Leaf. Although, no, the Igrassi Leaf is giving us enough region to be able to even do this thing. So, yeah, I think this is the play. What were they doing, man? What were they built? It's as if they did nothing. Okay. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna also buy this. I don't want to be critted. Okay, we found Vampirism and therefore attack speed on the glove. And I would like this to buy this right this moment. Uh, because otherwise it's just straight up not gonna combine. So what should I sell? I think I should just sell the Crab of Resilience I just bought. Yeah, it is what it is. Not worth it, but still worth it. I'm gonna combine here. So we start with more Vampirism and also get more attack speed on that thing. I guess I need another banana. <laughs> we really have energy issues. This guy has a buckler, so that's gonna also contribute to my energy issues. 66 damage right there. 46 damage again. 66 again. It's a race. Oh, uh, we lose. We lose this race. Whoa, 60 healing, man. Really good. This uh, The Vampirism Goober is something we definitely also wanted. This thing destroyed us. I think the Vampirism Goober did the difference. Yeah, Blood Goober. 166 damage. Awesome, awesome. Really cool build here. 20 Vampirism. So this thing, every time it fired, it did... Um, can I even see the... Here it is. 60 crit damage and 60 healing on them. Really cool Goober to play there. I like that build. Nice. Now I can get this back. <laughs> We would have survived if I actually had the cap. <laughs> anti-poison, I guess. Might as well. Last item is going to be anti-poison. And uh, one can only hope. Why not Vampirism? Might as well go for this. So we get a bit of luck at the very, very end. Uh, let's put it here, I guess. So it fires the spikes more often. And let's go. Final fight. We are supposed to have a 30% chance to block crits and stuns. I mean, crits is the one that cares about. And I also have a Torquilla to also remove crits from the opponents. So, uh, yeah, now we just hope. And once again, we got a card over here, removing debuff so we don't lose from poison. Although I don't think poison can even kill us. This is a burst build with Tim. So let's see how much... Ooh, let's see how much Tim can steal from us. Uh, they are attacking pretty fast, but I think we got them. Because they lose from spikes. Whoa, it's a race! Wow, at the end they almost got us. They lost because they got reflected to death, right? We won from spikes. Yeah, look at this. We actually won from spikes doing 200. Tusk Piercer did nothing. This thing fired once. I told you it's a meme bow, but we still won 204. Good thing we are a spikes build, otherwise we would have lost. They got... This is an insane build, man. They had 8 in power. This is very smart. Although you did min-max this, we would have lost if this was min-maxed. I, th I think. We, we might have lost if this was min-maxed. By min-max, I mean... If they had the two potion belts lined up over here in this corner, I know they were using the flute and whatnot, but who cares? Maybe in this two lines. If these two lines were these potion belts and they had them stacked up to each other, they would have had so much more energy to just fire 50,000 more times because I think they did run out of energy. Yeah, they did run out of energy here. It's not like they drank the potion. Here it was literally they do 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 do, but attack, 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 and then boom, they're out of energy. And then Tim steals some mana and they still attack. No, it just fires a bunch of things, and they... Ah, they drank another potion here. Yeah, I'm wrong. Actually, they had one more potion here at the end. I don't know. Maybe against us, they would never win, but still, this was not min-maxed. You could have had these lined up here so that they would fire each other. What an awesome build, though. Falcon Blade. I mean, the Fencing Rapier doesn't really fit with what you're doing, but this was your highest damage weapon as far as I'm seeing. Nope, it was not. Yeah, it was the, almost the highest weapon damage. Mana Thirst did the highest damage. Why did the bottom mana thirst do more than the above? Just because of one whetstone? That was such a big difference maker? I don't think so. It just happened and this didn't fire. Right, and they also had flawed super, which is they hit us on life. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice build, nice build. But we still won with the new Tusk Piercer. I'm not going to play this weapon again. It's a complete trash weapon, in my opinion. It's not really that good. It just front load spikes. That's it. It just a, a spikes front, front loader. So I hope you guys enjoyed as always. And by the way, I, I, I hit fight this like six times now. That's why this weapon is so bad. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.